What's going on nation? UKVP here and welcome. Today I bring you an MTL that I bought a previous version on the past and I fell really really in love about it and this time is the Expromiser V5. Yeah, um, this one was sent to me for the purpose of this review by Sigabuy so make sure you go them, check them out. Amazing store, amazing prices and amazing shipping. Um, very pretty quick shipping actually. So yeah, the Expromiser V5. Now I did review the V4. I think it was in 2019. I even uh, put it to my best MTL of the year and it's still probably the best MTL I ever try. Um, you know, uh, the dual intake MTL is also pretty damn good, but I think that Expromiser for the lovers that really like that restrictive MTL is the Expromiser V4. But now, yeah, the younger brother came out, the V5. So they've done a few changes in here. Nothing too crazy. It's more like a facelift. Do a few changes here and there. But the restrictiveness is still there. But obviously we go to all of that on the up and close. So what are we going to do now? We're going to dive down. User manual. You're going to get your baggie with a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to have cotton. You're going to have one coil, I think, only. Yeah, not too... One coil, yeah, you're only gonna have one coil, some O-rings, four screws, and some cotton. And you're gonna have an extra glass. And here is your main event, the Expromiser V5. So starting from the bottom is gonna be a 23 mil diameter uh, tank. You're gonna have your nice 510 then. It does protrude, but do, try to not use this. This is an MTL on a hybrid mechanical mod. Gonna have a nice knurling that is gonna help you to you know unscrew on the top is gonna be 510 drip tip here we go it comes out and this is the ones that you can change these things on the top i don't know if they're gonna sell some separately or if you can use from your previous ones that you have or any other one that you have uh, but they don't include any extra one and all your 510 will fit here no issues now in here you're also gonna have your airflow adjustment okay so you can go from all close and start to open as you can see hole by hole till you're gonna have six of them six holes and then if you turn all the way around and you keep going you can have this airflow right here that's gonna be a little bit more open if you have all of it but you also can cut Okay, and that's it, and it keeps turning till you find again your holes. Now, to fill up, they have a cool feature. So you start to unscrew your top cap. Here we go, like so. And when you reach to the max, as you can see, you just pull it to the side and you fill it up. I do like that. I mean, you're not going to be filling this tank a lot because it's pretty restricted. It's not going to go to a lot of juice, but I do like this feature. It looks very, very nice. In here, you're going to have your cage. Um, that's why no bubble glass is going to be an option for this one because uh, this cage is non-removable. Okay, you're going to have EX in there, as you can see. And you also can see there your juice flow control. Okay, so if you keep turning, as you can see, you can close your juice flow control right there and you can open all your juice flow till you have i think it's three holes or two holes yeah you can have as you can see the option for three holes but if you really crank it up you're gonna have option also for two or keep it closed as you want then obviously in here you can keep going and here is going to be your deck we're going to come back to that in a second you also can go a little bit further here now when you're getting new it might be hard to take it apart here we go as you can see, you can take your glass, okay, and replace it. And far as I know, this is press fitted, okay, in here. So you, you can't really remove the cage. As you can see, there is going to be where your juice go and you can control your juice flow control. And look at this, all the airflow coming from the top to reach your deck. And there your juice port. All the machining on this thing is just wonderful. And obviously, you can remove your glass to replace it, to clean it as you want. Here is also the top cap. As you can see, all machining on this thing is just amazing. And here is your deck. So it's going to be just, you know, two post deck, single coil right there. Your airflow comes from the bottom, but it's going to travel to the top, to those holes here on the side. You got one, two, three, four of them, those ones there on the bottom. And then it's going to travel to your coil. It's a lot of travel, but it's actually pretty damn smooth. 
and here you're gonna have big ports as you can see for uh, your juice to float your wigs it's gonna take a lot of cotton on this one but you always can adjust you know if you start to want to get gurgly on you because it's not gonna leak because it's top airflow but you start if it starts to do uh, a bit of gurgly you might want to adjust that and here as you can see you're gonna have those notches on the side is where you can put your extra lid, cut it, and you're not going to have any short. Very nice post screws in here, very easy to build. So let's draw a build on this bad boy. Okay, so I'm going to use the coil they actually provide. You can use the legs up or down, really up to you, because you can build uh, both ways is no problem. Let me open a little bit more the post screws. Okay, I didn't set my coil to have a little bit more control where I get it. Here we go. Okay, my coil is in place. So like I told you, you can kind of put them on the side like so. Okay, your legs, because you're going to have that notch there. And then just go in there and cut. Okay, let's glue this bad boy. See if he's glowing evenly. Okay, glowing pretty nice. I'm gonna use actually the cotton they also provide. Okay, so like I said, you wanna have a little bit of cotton on this one because it does take a lot of cotton. On my first build, I didn't put enough and I found it a little bit gurgly, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna try to do now is leave it a little bit more cotton, give it a nice comb to keep it like nice and fluffy. and just tuck it in there those ports are pretty damn big what you want to make sure is that you have all those three holes completely cover here we go obviously you don't want to pack an amount a big amount of cotton but you want to have that completely close with cotton let's juice it up Prime this bad boy. Okay, we have the vapor, so now you just have to grab all of this, throw it in there, tie it up. You can close your juice flow control. Okay, let's fill up two mLs. Okay, and it's completely full. So I do think we did cover up everything. We're gonna come back on top. I tell you where you can get it, price, and we run to pros and cons. All right, and we're back, and that was the up and close for the X-Promiser V5. So where you can get it in price, now, um, it's going to be obviously available at Sega Buy, and the price is going to be between $23 and $26, depending on the colors that you choose. Now, the color is going to be uh, stainless steel, be the cheaper one, then you're going to have the black, that is the second cheaper one, and then the more expensive is going to be the gun metal. So, um, pros and cons for this bad boy. I have two little cons for this one, nothing too crazy. I wish they had included an extra drip tip, you know, even if it was just the top thing that you can remove. I mean, if you buy the other ones, they're all black anyway. So I don't know but if you can have autumns, if they're gonna sold separately or something like that. But I wish they had included something else in here, but all your five tens fit here. So, you know, it's not big of a con. Now, the other con is, I wish the cage was removable. Okay, for people who don't want, now, the cage is going to keep you that, that extra safety for your glass, you know. Obviously, it still can break, but it's going to be harder. But some people might not don't want to run it like this. Might just want to run it with a glass. And maybe even they could have include an extra purple glass, you know. But, you know, it is very subjective. It is also because I don't have too many cards. Now, pros. This thing is a beast for MTL lovers. Now, keep in mind, this has to be one of the restrictive um f mtls that I ever try you really feel that very uh, restrict uh, mtl in there but the flavor is top notch on this one it keeps a lot of flavor like his his old brother you know the v4 the v4 was very restricted with an, an amazing flavor that's why i did love it so much now the top air flow even though it travels a lot is very very smooth the drip tip is comfortable no issues in there love the feeling method i mean you, you start on screen then you pop it 
it out. I kind of like that. It's it not going to go to a lot of juice, so it's not going to be filling up a lot of times. I do like that. 2 ml, like I say, um, it's going to be more than enough for this tank right here. All the machining, all the construction, everything is a banger. Juice flow control, a very, very big pro. Even though an MTL, I don't know if you really need it, but at least it's here because it does take a lot of cotton in there. So if you want to, you know, if you have a thinner juice or thicker juice and you want to adjust, adjust with your juice flow control, you can do that. I mean, it's a banger. You're going to have a lot of also of uh, airflow adjustments in here. You can really dial it down. So at this point, I have a 0.23. Okay, we're gonna rock it out with the six airflows, so the six holes wide open. It is a restrictive MTL more on the open side. Now let's reduce just to three, so half of that. Still have the class flavor, is amazing, extremely restricted. One hole. Oh, this thing is restrictive with just one hole. Now, let me close everything, see if I can. Yeah, you could close everything. So, let's close everything. Now, this is crazy restricted. Now, even the, the bigger one that I show you, that big notch in there, is not going to be a lot of more airflow, to be honest. So, we're going to try that one. Okay, it's more like an open MTL. And obviously... Everything you're going to reduce is going to be pretty similar to the holes. So you're going to have a lot of adjustments here. Uh, for those really, really people really like that MTL, I do think this one is a banger. And for the price that it goes on Sigabuy, to be honest, if you love MTL, it is a non-brainer. And they look so sexy. The gunmetal, the stainless steel, even this black one, I do love all the colors. I wish I had all the colors. So yeah, I've been banging this thing. Um, normally I bang my uh, intake MTL. I do love that one as well. But this one is going to replace it. Do, do love it. Definitely, definitely recommend. Uh, big shout out to Sigabyte to send this so I can review it. We're going to wrap it up. Thanks for everything. Don't forget to like it and subscribe if you want to join my patreon or the members channel the link is going to be down in the description other than that i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time till there keep vaping